good evening. In this tutorial, we're going over Evie Fry from the new Assassin's Creed. You get to play as a female. And all of the clothing is painted on, except for obviously my gloves I've got going on. I also just got my very first loot crate. And I'm very excited. I like literally have wanted loot crate for like the longest time to just release my energy. Which I pretty much release every day anyways. But instead of getting loot crate, I actually went ahead and got level up. What does this have to do with shh, 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 shh. We'll get there. Quickly, because I am excited, I've got Einstein socks. Spider-Man socks. Get in there. A couple different Doctor Who gadgets. And we're here. An Assassin's Creed sweatshirt. Ah! All the products that you save are listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. My new wardrobe, though. Are you ready to prime your eyeballs? Prime your eyes and fill in your eyebrows if needed. For my eyes, I then use the Lorac Pro Palette 2, which is like my entire life right now. Applied a lighter color underneath my brow bone and then went with a more smoky brown. Applied that to my crease as well as underneath my eyes and patted black shadow on my lid and a little bit underneath my eye. Using a pencil liner, line your eyes as well as smudge out heavily underneath and on top. And of course, put some mascara on. I then dabbed on some highlighters at the tops of my cheekbones, a little bit above my eyebrow, on the tip of my nose, and a little bit above my lip. Evie has a very cute pink face, so I'm heavily applying blush to my cheeks and also on my nose. Using an eyebrow marker, I'm also adding freckles to my cheeks. Adorable, but deadly. To add color to my lips, I went in with a nude stick and then added Urban Decay's 1993 lip liner. To start off on the collar of the shirt, I mixed a little bit of gray into white to make an extremely light gray, painted on the collar, and then went back in with regular white for the shirt itself. Using an eyebrow marker, I then went ahead and just did a general outline of where the jacket was gonna go, so I kinda knew what I was doing. For this look, I really wanted the jacket to be closed because I really wanted the buttons on the jacket. Don't know why I'm obsessed with the buttons. So since her jacket is closed, only a little bit of the red shirt is going to be showing. Fill in everything else black. Now for the actual tutorial portion, the jacket is just all highlighting. And this entire time, I'm using white body paint. I'm first separating the jacket and then drawing on the collar as well as dragging that in so the lines aren't so harsh. Fill in the highlighting detail of the collar as well as fill in the square puffs, I guess. Yes, is what I would call them, square puffs. And add these just by highlighting where the light would naturally hit them. I'm also adding the other side of the collar and doing the exact same thing. Add some minor details and highlights surrounding the edge of the collar. On one side of the jacket, I'm then going ahead and highlighting where there's stitching and details on the jacket. You can then also highlight where the seams of the jacket would be on your shoulders. On the other shoulder, she has a patch of buttons, so I'm adding that in and doing the same kind of square puffs. And just generally highlighting around that and highlighting the sleeve itself. And of course, the entire reason that I decided to make this jacket closed, I'm then adding in all of the buttons and details using silver body paint. Shade the red shirt by using a mix of red and black body paint and shade each corner until you get down to black. For all the wrinkles on the white shirt, I went ahead and used gray eyeshadow as well as shading along between the jacket and the shirt itself. And finish up adding stitching using black eyeshadow. 